Good afternoon, everyone. I hope everyone is doing good. Um, so now, uh, today in this lecture, I'm going to be uh, discussing about bonds. Uh, the idea is to give a basic overview uh, about bonds. Uh, if you need uh, to go more in detail, you can uh, take a specific um, specialized textbook or a reference book on bonds. It's a very vast subject. Uh, but here, the basic idea is to give you an overview so that you understand what this, uh, this big giant is, bonds. Um, you guys might have watched James Bond movies. Uh, it's a different kind of bond. It's not that bond, okay? Um, so what is a bond, basically? Corporations um, or governments um, or municipalities, uh, if they need money for longer term, they typically issue uh, bonds. If corporations or firm need money for shorter term, they can go to bank and can get a loan. But for a longer term, say 10 years, 20 years, uh, it's very difficult to get a uh, loan from the bank, even though if some, they are able to manage, uh, you know, get the loan from the bank, the interest rate would be too high. So there are other methods for getting, you know, financing for your company. Say if you are in a position of a CEO or CFO, let me put it that way, CFO, Chief Financial Officer and uh, you have issued you know securities you have sold out the shares in the company but still you need more money so what you may do you may go for the bonds you know you may issue the corporate bonds in other words bonds are simply long-term loans okay so if your company need cash for longer term you may issue bonds and like uh, the stocks are traded um, in the stock market. Similarly, bonds are traded. Um, there are different uh, bond uh, traders. Um, you may trade bonds over there. However, always remember that uh, the government bonds are less risky as compared to uh, corporate bonds or municipality bonds. It's not too long ago, uh, a few years ago, I think it's 2000, uh, 2011, uh, Detroit, it's a very big city in, in USA, got bankrupt. So uh, remember, but the US government is there. So government, they don't go bankrupt actually. They just print more money. However, uh, if the government has investments, say, in other currencies or in other countries, they can't print the uh, money for, you know, other countries' currencies. So, needs to see the risk factor too. But in general, a fundamental general rule is that government bonds are less risky as compared to firms or municipalities. Let's look at the numbers, what uh, bond market says, uh, what is this beast? So this is a very, very big beast. Global bond market is about $100 trillion. Think about it, $100 trillion. It's a very big number. Out of $100 trillion, US alone uh, has about $33 trillion market for bonds. And second to USA is Japan, 14 trillion. Uh, these numbers uh, may be, you know, some percentage off here and there, but it's a rough number. I did some research and I found out this number. Um, but the idea here is that it's a big giant, very big. Okay. Corporate bonds are usually more complex and less liquid than government bonds. Now the value of, of a bond is equal to its cash payments discounted at a spot rates of interest. Okay. So let's say if we want to calculate the present value of a 10-year bond with a 5% coupon, 
five percent coupon means is simply that uh, the five percent, um, let's say hundred dollars, every year if the rate is five percent, um, the bond issuer will give you five dollars at, at the each uh, period. How we can get our very famous formula of present value? If uh, you guys haven't uh, have don't have any familiarity with present value or future value. I would recommend you to go and watch uh, my another video, previous video lecture, where I discuss the present value and future values. So it's the same same formula basically, with the different interest rate at each period. Okay, different rates to each period. So. Um, so let's say at one first period you'll get five dollars back then second period you will get five dollars back and when the bond will mature after 10 years you'll get one zero five dollars your your principal hundred dollars plus your interest payment uh, on zero five so that if you add it up um, and uh, discount it by uh, discount factor that is one over r one plus r you get the present value in terms of percentage okay uh, a plot of a spot rate so what it is r it's a spot rate versus maturity it it shows uh, the term structure so typically this plot is like if you have a bond maturing um, so 30 years, 20 years, it will have more spot rate as compared to the bonds which is maturing in one, one or two years. But why do people go and buy bonds? Well, it is simple. It is a promise to pay, uh, pay your principal. But you know, it is a promise. Again, always remember, government is going to be there forever. So you can assume that, okay, government going to pay your principal back to you, but not in the, uh, no, this doesn't apply to companies where companies may go bankrupt or municipalities or, you know, cities may go bankrupt. Now, a simple interesting question comes to mind that, what return do investors get if they buy the bond? What is the interest rate? Okay. If you want, if you have money and uh, you wanna, you know, should I buy the bond or should I buy the uh, stocks? You may calculate the, you know, value of a bond um, using the uh, opportunity cost of capital um, discounted by. Um, the discount factor that way but the essential question is that what the value it is offering to me or why should I buy okay so investors and financial managers they use the yield to maturity on a bond to summarize its prospective return okay what is the yield to maturity it is simply a, uh, a rate of return uh, in the present value formula. So let's say um, this is your famous present value formula and five is your 5% uh, interest rate. Um, now here your spot rate is same for each period. So the Y is called, uh, rate of return Y is called bonds yield to maturity. Yield to maturity discounts all cash payments at the same rate, even if it's a spot rate differs. Good, are we here with me? Great, let's see a few more interesting things about bonds. A bond's duration, um, what is the duration? Means the average time for each payment. What is the bond's maturity? Means when the bond is gonna mature, 
I say 10 years, 20 years, but duration is different that average time for payments. Okay. This is also important factor to consider because there is a direct relationship between uh, a duration of a bond and exposure of its price to changes in interest rate. The longer is the duration, more volatile it will be. The, the volatility in the price will be higher. A change in the interest rate has a greater effect on the price of a long duration bonds. Prices of long duration bonds are more volatile than prices of short duration bonds. Say for example, if you are uh, if there is a sharp uh, change in interest rate, your prices in, of the bond may sharply decline or may volatile, let me put it that way, more volatile 30 to 40 percent, that is a very big number, 30 to 40 percent volatility, it is a big number. Um, Corporate bonds comes in two flavors. Here I put it one convertible bonds. The another one is like volatile, um, uh, the, the fluctuating uh, interest rate. What I find that uh, convertible bonds are better than the other kind of fluctuating interest rate bonds in terms of corporate bonds. Because what happens that you have an opportunity to convert that uh, bond uh, in future for a specified number of shares if you want to. Okay. So that kind of uh, you know say something you know you find it okay the company's uh, future is not looking good you convert it into the shares who knows that the share prices uh, momentarily shoots up to high sell it off uh, get your money back. Okay. So what, what are convertible bonds? It's simply, it's just that, that they can be converted to shares of a common stock. Good. So thank you guys. Uh, this was a very short uh, lecture on, on bonds. Um, if you need uh, more detail, if you, you can, uh, you can read uh, literature on, on, on bond subject. But the idea was uh, to give familiarity with the bonds and some, some interesting things about bonds. Um, thank you for subscribing Lee Professor YouTube channel. Those who haven't done that, I would recommend you to subscribe Lee Professor YouTube channel. This helps to keep you up to date with latest videos as soon as they are available. Thank you again and have a wonderful day.